Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this video, you are going to see how to crochet these beautiful little hats which can be used in multiple ways. So let's get started. For this I am using cotton 4 ply yarn and a crochet hook of size 3 mm. Now let us begin by making a magic ring. Chain 1 and let's start making the first row. Into the center make 8 single crochet stitches. Now that's the first one, 2, 3, 4, 5, adjust the ring, 6, 7 and the 8th one. Now close the magic ring and make a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now this completes the first row and we will have 8 stitches by the end of the first row. Now chain 1 and let's start making the second row. Into the first stitch make 2 single crochet stitches. That's the first one and then the second one which means we are making a single crochet increase. So we are going to repeat this single crochet increase 7 more times. That's the second increase. This is the third increase. Increase means we are going to work 2 stitches into the same stitch. This is the fourth one. Now continue to make single crochet increases until you reach the starting point. Now here I am making the last single crochet increase. And now make a slip stitch into the first stitch. So by the end of the second row we will have total 16 single crochet stitches. And this forms the crown of the hat. Now chain 1. Into the back loops make 1 single crochet stitches for the next row. So in the third row we are making just 1 single crochet stitch in each stitch. But remember to make them only into the back loops not into the entire stitch. Just insert the hook only into the back loop and make a single crochet stitch without any increases. Make 1 single crochet stitch. And this leaves a fine line as a separation between the crown and the hat. Now continue this until you reach the starting point. Making the last single crochet stitch into the back loops for third row. Then into the first stitch. Instead of making a slip stitch continue to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch. Just mark the beginning of the fourth row with the stitch marker. Here on for the next two rows we are going to continue it in the spirals instead of rows. So make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch for the fourth row as well. Continue this pattern of one stitch in each stitch until you reach the required height of the cap. Here I am working it up to the sixth row. This gives this height for our cap. Now after completing the sixth row. Here is how the hat looks like. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the 7th row. For this make a slip stitch into the next stitch. Now chain 3. And this is considered as first double crochet stitch in 7th row. Now into the front loop of the same stitch make one more double crochet stitch which means this chain 3 and First DC considered as a DC increase in the first stitch. Now into the next stitch into the front loops make a DC increase which means two DCs into the same stitch. Again into the front loop only make a double crochet stitch increase. That's the first DC and then into the same stitch make one more DC. Now continue this pattern of DC increases into the front loops by leaving the back loops which gives the shape of our hat. Continue this until you reach the starting point. Now making the last DC increase into the last stitch. This completes your DC increases in the seventh row. Now make a slip stitch into the third chain which we have made in the row 7. 
This completes row 7 and we'll have total 32 stitches including the starting chain 3. You can leave it as it is or you can add a nice border for it as an 8th row. For this I am using a technique called reverse single crochet stitch. So for this begin with chain 1 and insert the hook into the previous stitch. Instead of yarn over make a yarn under and drop a loop to get this cross look. Now make a single stitch again insert into the previous stitch yarn under drop a loop and a single crochet. Now repeat this technique throughout the row. Insert the hook, yarn under, drop a loop, yarn over and single crochet. So this gives this nice ribbed curly border for our hat. So yarn under, drop a loop, yarn over, single crochet. Insert, yarn under, drop a loop, yarn over, single crochet. So this is the simple reverse single crochet technique. Continue this technique until you reach the starting point. Now we have reached the last few stitches. So making the last reverse single crochet stitch into the first stitch and then make a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now you can trim off here or if you wanted to make it as a keychain, I'm doing a chain 15 in just to insert the keyring. This is completely optional and you can avoid it if you are using it for your Amigurumi toys or for your baby clips. Now make a slip stitch into the next stitch, chain 1 and trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail end to weave in the ends. Fasten off and this completes the crocheting part of our hat. Now let's make the few finishings it required. For this I am just flipping the hat so that I can get a free access to the top thread. Now insert this tail ends into the tapestry needle and weave in and out through nearby stitches and after that trim the excess threads and repeat the same with all the other ends as well. You can change the colors in between to give this color texture for our hats. After trimming the excess threads your cute mini hats are ready. You can add a nice bow to it or flowers on the top of the hat to give its elegant look. And like I said there are multiple ways of using this mini hat. You can use them as an accessories to your kids or you can use it as a keychain by adding a key holder to this key ring. Or you can even decorate your amigurumi toys by using this cute little applex. If you are looking for the written pattern of these cute mini hats, check the description link is given there. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.